hello and welcome to excellence academy let's look at a second problem on differentiation via implicit um, method so let's say i have um, 3 x cubed y to the power 5 minus 2 x squared y plus 3 or 13 this time 13 x minus 8 y being equal to um, 14 y squared minus 2 x y to power 10 plus 3 right this i'm giving this and i'm asked to differentiate this for this now i'll use the idea of implicit differentiation because as you can see here x and y are placed simultaneously here so i'll use implicit all right so starting from this now if i'm having x cubed here if i differentiate x cubed here it gives me what there three x squared so take this this and this so three times three x squared times y to the power five three times three gives you nine into x squared then y to the power five that's for this i'm done with this go to this if i differentiate y to the power five it gives you five y to the power four so take this this and this three times five of course it's plus here yeah? 3 times 5 gives you 15 into x to the power 3, y to the power 4. Of course, since I'm differentiating y, you put what there? dy all over dx. So I have this. So I'm done with this one here. Next up, I'll take up the next man there. This is minus. So I'm having minus. Differentiate x squared. It gives you what there? gives you 2x so take this this and this 2 times 2 gives you 4x and then i have y so i'm done with x come to y if i differentiate y it gives you what there 1 so i'm still returning the sign here which is minus 2x squared times 1 gives you 2x squared since i'm differentiating y you now add what there? dy all over dx. Next up, plus, if I differentiate 13x, it gives you 13 minus, differentiate 8, 8y, it gives you 8. Include what's there? dy all over dx. I'm having this. It's now equal to, differentiate 14y squared, it gives you 28y add dy all over dx minus if i differentiate x here it gives me one it becomes two times one that's two times ten to the power five y to the power ten gives you two y to the power ten okay differentiate y to the power ten here it gives you ten y to the power nine so it becomes minus 2 times 10 is 20 into x y to the power 9. That's x y to the power 9. Differentiate your constants here, 3. It gives you 0. Now, notice I differentiated y here. So, I'll attach what here? dy all over dx. So, I'm having this. <coughs> Next up, I'll factorize. All the terms having dy over dx, I'll move them to the left-hand side. The ones not having the y over the x, I'll take them to the right hand side. So this one has the y over the x here. So I'll retain this here, becomes plus 15x cubed y to the power 4 into dy all over the x. This one has the y over the x, so it becomes minus 2x squared into dy all over the x. This one has the over the x, so it becomes minus 8 into dy all over the x. This one has the over the x. It's positive here. Comes here because what there? Negative. So minus 28y into 
dy all over dx. Here is um, having the one over dx here. It's negative. Comes here becomes positive. So plus 20 um, xy to power 9 into what here? dy all over dx. All right. I think that's all. Um, the ones not having the one over the x, move them over here. Um, you can start with this if you want to. This one has no dual over the x. I'm having minus 2y to power 10. Um, come through this. This one has no dual over the x. Move it over here. Becomes, this is positive. Comes here becomes what there? Negative. So I'm having minus 9x squared y to power 5. Um, next up, this one here has no dual over the x comes over it comes over the equality sign becomes what there positive so negative comes here becomes positive so I'm having plus for four x y all right here's my plus thirteen comes over becomes minus thirteen so I'm having this all right next up I'll factorize that means I'll take out um, the y over the x take out the y over the x here if i take out the y over the x here i'm left with 15 x per 3 y to power 4 so it gives you 15 x per 3 y to power 4 next up take away the y over the x here i'm having minus 2 x squared becomes minus 2 x squared next up take out the y over the x here i'm having minus 8 it gives you minus 8 all right Take out the y over the x here. I'm having minus 8, minus 28y. So minus 28y. Take out the y over the x here. I'm having plus 20xy to the power 9. So plus 20xy to the power 9. I think that's all. all. Right. So I'm having all of this equal to this. Now, here's my idea, please. I want to take the positive term first, right? I want to take the positive term first. So it becomes this one first. That's 4xy. Then take um, write out the negative ones. It becomes this minus 2y to power 10. This one here, minus 9x squared y to power 5. This one here, minus 13. So I'm having this. All right. Next up now, I'll get the y over the x by dividing both sides by what you have here. So then I'll have that the y over the x is now equal to, this is 4xy, um, 4xy minus 2y minus 2y minus, what the part 10? 2y to part 10. Okay. All right. Minus. 9x squared y to the power 5 minus 13 this divided by what I have here becomes 15x cubed y to the power 4 minus 2x squared minus 8 minus 28y plus 20xy to power 9. So this now becomes the answer of my question using implicit differentiation.